The biggest category of spend we have is IT. IT in DVLA is a big category. In some places, IT means people would regard it as being computers on desks and some servers. IT in DVLA is the DNA of the business, as I call it. Basically, DVLA does three things. We register vehicles, we issue driving licenses, and the third one is that we collect tax. So they're the three core functions of DVLA that have been there since the 1970s. And for the first sort of 40 years of DVLA's existence, they didn't really change very much. Early 2000s, we started to play in the online world, and suddenly customers were saying that's what they wanted more and more of, and we developed more and more online services. To the point now you can go through virtually your entire motoring life only dealing with this digitally. For a number of years now we've tried really hard to reshape the way we do technology, the way we, we do tech development. We've worked a lot with uh, government digital services, GDS. GDS have been down to see us a lot and visited us and they, they do see us as, as one, of the digital, one of the digital leaders in government. What we've done is thought about how we shape our IT structures. We work in a, we've worked in, in an agile development way for years. Um, agile is almost getting old hat now frankly but so the way we do development has changed. We've also looked at the way we marshal our resources. So we have squads, we work in a squad structure and we work in a product-based structure. So we don't have people building projects, we have people building products. About three and a half years ago, we insourced all of our IT to set up our own capability. IT is done by people, right? Yes, we have you know, servers and networks and wires and, and all those kinds of things, but, but things are, you know, code is written by people. Services are maintained by people. Patching gets done by people. What we've done and what we've achieved is directly attributable to the massive effort that, that the team have done here and the journey that they've been on with us. What we've been looking at is how we can grow digital skills working with partners in the Swansea area. So we've, we now, we've now got various different levels of digital programs running from an, an apprentice program right up to a master's program. We're working with Swansea University and the University of Wales to bring people in and to grow skills and effectively grow our own. So we run a thing called Code Club. Code Club started off as primary schools around here. It's now for primary schools and secondary schools because we've realised there's a big dropout in IT in STEM subjects about 14 years old, particularly with girls. Certainly what we found is the current academic offerings were not really fit for purpose in terms of teaching people not just the technologies and the techniques that we want to use but how we work, the way of working and what it means to be in the world of work and contribute to a team. That's why we've gone down the kind of apprenticeship route and that's why we've worked with local education providers to almost bespoke some of those schemes so someone doesn't leave that course just understanding about Java or AWS but they also understand what it means to work in an agile team, what it means to own a product at a technical level, what it means to live and breathe that product and maintain it and get woken up in the middle of the night when it breaks. So they have all of that experience that will help them stay ahead. I think anybody that thinks this place is uh, the myth that you know, we, we're, we're a fairly slow moving super tanker or public sector organisation, anybody that works here will, will tell you that's just not true. This place changes all the time. Uh, structures change, teams change on, on a regular basis and uh, it's very reactive. We fully recognise that this is not just about technology. Technology underpins a lot of what we do. But really what we're thinking about is the skills we need for our 5,000 people um, in the future.